What's up guys? So as you probably know we've been to Thailand and Philippines multiple times, uh, three times to each country and the question that we always get is which one do we prefer? So in this video we're going to compare the different aspects of traveling to the Philippines and to Thailand to help you guys decide which one to travel to. So we're going to cover things like the beaches and nature, the food, the cost, the cultural aspects, language and overall tourism. So starting with beaches and nature, this is one of the main reasons that people visit both countries, both Thailand and the Philippines. So they both have magnificent jungle-like scenery, amazing beaches, but for us Philippines is the best because it's actually our favorite beach destination in the world, not just comparing these two countries, comparing to any of the countries in the world. So the Philippines consists of 7,000 islands so obviously there's a huge variety of different kinds of beaches and nature areas and one of the major things that we like about the Philippines is that there are so many untouched areas so you can find many like paradise locations where you're the only people there and overall the majority of the beaches in the Philippines kind of look more like the Maldives, Caribbean style beaches, also those that you get in uh, Micronesia and Polynesia. It's more like that level with the super turquoise clear waters, the white sand. And we also like the fact that there's many sandbars there which isn't very common in any other countries. I don't think in Thailand we've ever seen any sandbars. We've never visited them anyway. And one of our favorite activities to do there is the island hopping where you get to visit these islands. And we visited so many magnificent islands that, like I just said, uh, are just completely empty and absolutely spectacular. But it's just because there's so many in the Philippines that they can't all be busy with tourists. In Thailand you obviously get beautiful beaches and amazing beaches. We love the area of uh, Krabi and Riley. Those beaches are amazing. And there's also some other areas where the beaches are more blue because I think the, big dif the biggest difference between most of the beaches in Thailand and the Philippines is the color of the water. So in Thailand the majority are more murky but still beautiful but it's just different and the, and the sun's a bit darker yeah. usually mm -hmm. but there's still some areas in Thailand where you can find white sand and uh, more turquoise uh, colored water I think in Koh Phi Phi yeah like Maya Bay Maya the famous Bay. Maya Bay mm -hmm. and there's another one Koh Li Phi we haven't been to but we know that it's like that but like Carol said I think the big difference is that overall uh, the beaches in the Philippines are a bit more paradise looking than, than in Thailand but you can still find many incredible beaches in Thailand either way. And both countries are full of jungle like scenery so you can do treks through the jungle, you'll find many waterfalls. I think we have seen more impressive waterfalls in the Philippines as well. It's almost like every island has waterfalls but we have also visited some in Thailand that are some of the most beautiful waterfalls that we've ever seen. So. Yeah, for waterfalls you kind of spoil in both countries. So now we're going to talk about the food. Uh, I think everybody knows that Thai food is famous internationally and because of that I think uh, people would prefer food in Thailand rather than in the Philippines. But for us we don't have that much of a preference. Since we lived in the Philippines for seven months I think we ended up finding many dishes that we didn't know before and because of that I think maybe we like Filipino food, but I think the majority of people usually say that the food in the Philippines is not as great as in Thailand. I think another thing is that because Thai food is more worldwide famous, people go to Thailand with the name of some dishes already like Pad Thai or mango sticky rice, things like that. Whereas in the Philippines, I think a lot of travelers have no idea what Filipino food is. So I don't even think they know what to ask for. And I think a lot of them never even end up trying Filipino food properly. So we've had great dishes there like chicken adobo. And our favorite one is the soup, the sinigang. Yeah, fish soup, fish sinigang. So, so good. <laughs> Yeah, Sinigang is probably one of the best foods we've ever had in the in the world. We really love it. And they also have interesting desserts like the Halo Halo. That looks really unusual, full of like sweets and shaved ice, so that's yeah. good too. And they also have the Leche Flan, which is uh, the exact same dessert that we have in Brazil because of their Spanish influence. So yeah. that's uh, something that I really like. But overall, I think traveling around Thailand, it's a bit easier for food because it is a more touristy destination than the Philippines 
times so a lot of restaurants that you go to even though it might be like a Thai restaurant they might have other options like Indian food Mexican food so it's a lot easier to uh, find food for all different people's tastes really so regarding the cost in each country both are pretty affordable especially if you're coming from many of the Western countries but Thailand is definitely more expensive than the Philippines in pretty much every aspect, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. And I think in Southeast Asia, it's only cheaper than Singapore. Uh, we've noticed the, the last time that we visited Thailand, we noticed that the prices are a bit uh, more expensive this time, but it's still affordable for many people. Yeah, but besides Singapore, I think Thailand might be more expensive than all the other countries in Southeast Asia now, but still nothing really outrageous. And it's still easy to do things on a cheaper budget. You can still find cheaper accommodation, street food, use the local transport. So yeah, it can still be an affordable destination, but Philippines is still definitely cheaper overall. So regarding the cultural aspects, we think Thailand has a stronger cultural impact when you arrive. And that's mainly because of the Buddhism and that influences in the architecture. And when you walk around, you see the temples. And I think because of that, many people get a big culture shock. And in the Philippines, since it was colonized by the Spanish, it is a majority a Christian country. So there you mainly get uh, churches. But unlike Thailand, it's not like churches on every street corner. And the Spanish colonization hasn't influenced much of the current architecture that you see on the streets in the Philippines. Whereas in Thailand, you really do see it on every street corner. In the Philippines, it seems to be more just specific regions that is also nice to visit you just seen it way more often in thailand overall we always thought of the philippines as being like the latin america of southeast asia since it is majority christian as you also have the tropical scenery with the christian churches which is exactly identical to over there in Thailand, it seems like the culture throughout the country is uh, more similar, whereas in the Philippines, because it's so spread out in different regions, some places actually speak different languages than the others. I think there's parts of the Philippines where if you put the people together, they wouldn't even be able to communicate with each other in some cases. So you also get different festivals. We went to one on an island called Kamigin. So it seems like each region also has different festivals and celebrate different things. So. That's one of the cool cultural aspects of the Philippines. So regarding the language, obviously in Thailand they speak Thai and a lot of people don't actually speak English there. I think we were mm -hmm. surprised this last time that we went. We had some difficulties even at restaurants, even in touristy places. Mm -hmm. So sometimes the order would come wrong or maybe we'd order two things and it only, only one would come. That, that actually happened a lot in Thailand. Whereas in the Philippines, basically everybody speaks English, even the little kids. I think it's really enforced in school. Even on the TV and stuff there, a lot of the channels are in English. It's almost like their first language. So because of that, it's just a super easy place to travel around because you can ask anybody for help and get help whenever. Uh, sometimes that's a bit difficult when we go to other countries where nobody really speaks our language and everything's a confusion and we're having to use like Google Translator. But in the Philippines, you'll pretty much never need that. And also the people are just super friendly by yeah, nature. Yeah, I think the, the friendliest that we've ever met in the world. And in Thailand, people are very friendly too, more than in other areas of the world. But the problem is sometimes the, the language barrier, so we cannot communicate and sometimes they're shy. So I think uh, we feel the Filipinos are more friendly overall. Yeah, yeah just because of the language though. Now for overall tourism, Thailand is definitely way more touristy than the Philippines. Thailand's been famous for many decades now, maybe like three, four decades, where I feel like Philippines is just picking up now that tourism's really becoming more developed this last decade, so in a much shorter period. And you feel that when you're in the country, so everywhere in Thailand seems a lot more busier than in the Philippines. Even if we go to the most touristy places in the Philippines, like El Nido or Boracay, it just feels like the places in Thailand have way more people, way more noise. I think Thailand overall has way more of a backpacker scene. Mm -hmm. I think it is the main country to come to backpack in Southeast Asia, so that's why you are always seeing backpackers everywhere. Younger crowd. Yeah, younger crowd. Noisy a bit mm -hmm. sometimes. Yeah, getting drunk every day. <laughs> and I think in the Philippines it's more like a family vibe. Uh, there's also many backpackers and it's increasing. 
but uh, I think we feel more like a family uh, environment. Yeah, in the Philippines it's just more mellow overall. Like in Thailand you'll see many bars and clubs and things like that, which you do get in the Philippines, but it's just not all the time. So it's definitely more of a laid back travel experience. Obviously even in Thailand you can probably go to an island or a region where there's nobody there. You can always find quiet places in any country, right? But I'm just talking about like the overall vibe of traveling through the country. That's how it feels. One major difference is also that we seem to see more domestic travelers in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if it's because in Thailand the domestic travelers are going outside like uh, the locals are traveling to other countries around and in the philippines i think they just like to visit the, their own country and the famous places like El Nido, Boracay so we're always traveling and seeing the local families traveling too which more is locals nice. more locals than the foreigners uh, which is very nice uh, it's nice to meet local people too and they're super friendly as we already mentioned. Yeah, whereas in Thailand there's some regions there where it's almost like you don't see any Thai people at all. Like some areas that we went to in Phuket or Krabi, it's just all foreigners. The mm -hmm. Thais don't seem to, to go there. So maybe they have other areas that they go where there's not full of foreigners, I'm not sure. Now regarding transport and ease of travel throughout the country, I think Thailand's definitely a lot easier and that's probably because they have decades of experience of tourism. I think it's also because how the country is geographically. It's mainly one big part of mainland and then the islands are quite close to the coast. Mm -hmm. Whereas Philippines is just islands spread out everywhere. So in the Philippines to get to one place you may have to travel by plane, boat, ferry, many different transportation methods. But in Thailand it's usually easier. Yeah, and in Thailand overall it's just a bit more organized since I think tourism to all the different islands is more established. Whereas in the Philippines there's some islands that tourists still don't really go to. So to go there you have to kind of investigate how to get there in the first place, which isn't always easy. Whereas in Thailand I think you can always just go to like an office, book the ticket and they'll already have everything laid out for you, like the, the van transfer, then the boat, and then the van transfer or tuk-tuk on the other side. It's just more organized, but I think that just comes down to the fact that they've been a touristy destination for many more years than the Philippines. And regarding the infrastructure, we think Thailand is also better than the Philippines. Uh, the roads are better to drive and also internet on the hotels and Airbnbs. We never had big issues and also electricity. We used to have many issues in, in the Philippines in El Nido. So uh, we think Thailand is uh, better than Philippines. Yeah, that's always been a bit of a headache for us in the Philippines. So even the really touristy places like Boracay or El Nido, they still haven't sorted out their infrastructure. So you can be staying at a place and the electricity goes out. And yeah, it's obviously not that nice to be paying a night stay somewhere and you don't have electricity or internet, which you should be getting. But on the other side, that's actually an aspect of the Philippines that we like sometimes when we visit some islands and there's not much infrastructure because everything feels raw and real like going around on a scooter on a dirt road and um, yeah just nothing's developed at all it's still probably like the Filipino life hundreds of years ago so that is actually a aspect that is a positive of the Philippines I just don't think it's a positive when you go into these major attractions like El Nido where everything is already developed but it's still not working properly. Regarding the urban cities, we prefer Thailand overall, so we prefer Bangkok over Manila. Bangkok's actually one of our favorite capitals in the world. It just seems to have more of a variety of things. Also because, like Carol said, of the, the Buddhist culture, where that influences Bangkok a lot. And they have other things like floating market, they have the big modern area and historic sites to visit. Manila also has an extremely modern area that we're surprised by. It looks like you're in the, the US, like a downtown area of the US. And they do have a cool historic park called Intramuros, which is the old Spanish city. So there's still some cool historic sites to see and still a lot to see in Manila, but I just think Bangkok has a bit more. And then some other cities that we've been to in the Philippines, like Cebu City, didn't really seem to have that much to do. I think there was like a fort there and it just seems to be more like hanging out in a mall, which is not really that interesting, I think, for a lot of travelers to travel somewhere just to go to the mall. 
And in Thailand, there just seems to be more cities with uh, history overall. So even in Phuket, which is known for its like beaches and party, party life, um, we were kind of surprised when we went to the Phuket Old Town. Yeah, because it's like a historical area and we were not expecting, so that was cool too. Yeah, and then there's other areas like Chiang Mai, which is super famous, where there's many historic structures. And yeah, I just think there's just more to do and see in the cities. They're just a bit nicer to walk around. And as Chris mentioned, in Thailand, I think if you go through the country, not only in Bangkok, you find many historical sites, like old historic cities like Ayutthaya that we visited. But in the Philippines, we didn't see that so much. There is obviously the historical churches, but I think it's not as strong as it is in Thailand. Yeah, so in the Philippines, the majority of the historic structures are just mainly from the Spanish. I think before that, there, I don't think there are any structures, not that we've seen, from the Filipinos before the Spanish. Whereas Thailand was all different kingdoms, so there's these ancient cities spread around. Yeah, there's just more historic places to visit. And last of all, we might as well include safety and scams. So regarding safety, we've never felt unsafe anywhere in Mm -mm. In either or no. Southeast Asia as a whole. No, yeah, I think it's a safe place to travel, not only as a couple but as a, a woman. I think I feel safe as a female traveler in both countries. Yeah, maybe you have to watch out for like pickpockets in busy urban areas in the capitals, but it's not really something that's on our mind, and that's actually one thing that we really like about Southeast Asia as a whole that you just feel very safe here. And for scams, you obviously get the typical tourist scams in any country worldwide, right? I think uh, I think in Southeast Asia it's very common with the transport though, like the tuk-tuks. Mm -hmm. I think in Thailand it is a bit uh, stronger. Uh, we get more scams, I think. And Bangkok, for example, if you are staying in the tourist area, uh, it's almost impossible to get a taxi and put the meter on. They will always charge you a lot more. Yes, yeah, so I think that's just with Thailand being a more touristy destination, it just means there's more scammers on the prowl. But it's never been a big deal for us or that frustrating really. We can go many days without having any issues. For us it's just mainly just the transport, that's it. Mm -hmm. But now a lot of the time you have the apps anyway like Uber or Grab, so we just use that. And we also noticed the last time that we went to Thailand, many of the tourist agencies, they are charging like a fixed price. So if you go check uh, three different agencies, they're going to be charging always the same price. So that's good too. Yeah, I think in Philippines it was more different. Like if we go to El Nido, you'd have different places that seem to be charging different prices for boat tours, stuff like that. Whereas Thailand seemed a bit more standardized this time. I don't remember it being like that four years ago, but maybe that's a new thing that they introduced. So that's it. So overall, we definitely recommend visiting both countries. That's why we've been back three times to both of them. But I think the major difference for us is that if you're specifically thinking about beaches and nature, I'd go more for Philippines. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you don't want to be doing that the majority of the time, I think I'd go more for Thailand because there are more like historic sites, temples. And another big thing is the fact that Philippines is just more mellow, whereas Thailand's a bit more lively and the Philippines is cheaper. Maybe the budget will decide it overall. So Philippines is cheaper than Thailand, but both two amazing places to visit. And yeah, visit them both if you can. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. As we said before, we have many videos from both countries. And we're going to link playlists from, from Thailand and from Philippines below. So that you guys can watch our previous videos from those countries. So drop a like as usual to support us. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this one. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.